let a and b be any two non zero integers integers so that so that if gcd of a b equal to 1 if and only if there exist non zero integers integers x and y such that such that ax plus by equal to 1 so first uh, that is uh, here uh, they uh, give one the gcd of a b equal to 1 that is a and b are relatively prime integers and we want to show that there exists an integer x and y such that ax plus by equal to 1 the first part is very trivial that is then part is very trivial that is if gcd of a b is equal to 1 then by using gcd theorem by using using gcd theorem uh, we can write since uh, there uh, by using the series theorem there exist integer x and y such that such that x plus b y equal to one. This part is very trivial. This is this we can show by using GCD theorem since GCD is equal to one. Conversely, suppose what is g one? Conversely, suppose here there exists an integer x and y such that ax plus by equal to 1 then we want to show that here then we want to show that gcd of a b is equal to 1 now suppose we assume here suppose gcd of a b suppose gcd of a b is equal to d then since d is the gcd of a b implies d divides a and d divides b because d is a common divisor of a and b but if d divides a and d divides b implies d divides ax plus by but if d divides ax plus by implies now since g1 now since ax plus by equal to 1 implies d divides 1 okay so but since now since d is a gcd d represent gcd implies d is greater than 0 and d divides 1 implies there exists only one non zero integer which is greater than 0 and which divides 1 that is 1 itself so this implies d is equal to 1 and therefore we can write the gcd of ab we can say that here gcd ab is equal to 1 we assume here gcd of ab is equal to 1 d and finally we arrived at uh, the gcd of uh, the d is equal to d is what 1 and therefore we can say that gcd of ab is equal to 1 now next next uh, number 2 if gcd of ab is equal to d then show that the gcd of a upon d and b upon d is equal to 1 ok now here given gcd of a b is equal to d implies this implies d is common divisor of a and b so this implies d divides a and d divides b so this implies uh, uh, this implies a is equal to uh, say uh, here we want to show that okay. a is equal to dk1 and b is equal to say dk2 for some integer k1 k2 okay now since d is a, uh, GC, uh, what is d is a gcd of a b so by using gcd theorem we can write now since gcd of a b is equal to d so by using gcd theorem there exist an integers x and y such that such that d is equal to ax 
plus b y that is we can express gcd as a linear combination of a and b but since what is the value of a here a is equal to dk1 and b is equal to dk2 so if we substitute this value here d is equal to dk1 x plus dk2 y and from the right hand side if we take the outside then we get d is equal to d times k1 x plus k2 y so d d get cancel here so 1 is equal to k1 x plus k2 y so so here now by using uh, by using uh, property number 1 if ax plus by is equal to 1 then gcd of ab is equal to 1 if the ax plus by is equal to 1 then gcd of ab equal to 1 by using this uh, theorem we can say that here the gcd of k1 and k2 is equal to 1 but what is k1 k1 is equal to what now since a is equal to dk1 and b is equal to dk2 since a is equal to dk1 and b is equal to dk2 from this we can write from this we can write k1 is equal to a divided by d and k2 is equal to b divided by d and therefore since gcd of k1 k2 is equal to 1 this implies gcd of a divided by d and b divided by d is equal to 1 for example for example we know that gcd of gcd of 12 and 18 is equal to 6 and therefore the gcd of 12 upon 6 and 18 upon 6 that is gcd of 2 and 3 is equal to 1 so here if the gcd of a and b is equal to d then gcd of a upon d divided by b, div b by d is equal to 1 thank you